Hi everyone, this is Tammy with Love Begin in the Garden. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some very easy, quick, and cheap plant markers. These are displayed in my sister's shop, our shabby cottage, and they were made using tile, like floor tile or tile that you put as a backsplash, and just stamped on there. There's different uh, styles, different shapes, but they're all basically the same way. I think they make beautiful markers for your plants, whether it's in your vegetable garden or uh, your flower beds. And this is a hibiscus plant that I have, and while I have runners, that's an old sign. And I just made that using um, st stencils. Um, that one is made using plastic letters that I glued on there using the E6000. And those are just stenciled on. And that one is one that Lisa sells in her shop that she ordered wholesale. And this is marking my sugarberry tree. And that one again is the plastic markers. But in today's video, I will be showing you how to do these. This is a very quick video because it's very quick to do. And there's no point in making the video any longer than it needs to be to show you what I want to show you. So today I'm going to be making the one that says kale. And first I want to show you that if you have stamped on there already with stays on ink, which stays on, the thing that you can remove it with is alcohol. So that's what I'm doing here. I know that looks messy right now, but it removes every bit of it. And so if you're stamping on your um, tile and you have made a mistake or it bled over a little bit or you just need to change one letter in it, it's easy to remove it with the, with the it's just regular rubbing alcohol. And actually if your tiles have been handled, it's a good idea just to uh, rub the rubbing alcohol over them before you start anyway just to get anything off that might be on there So I'm just going to stamp the letters K-A-L-E and The center of that one is easy of that piece of tile because it's where it comes to a point at the top and bottom So I just line up my letters trying to get in the center and the center lengthwise and widthwise. So since kale only has four letters in it, I stamp the middle ones first or the middle L first because I can easily line that up with the center of the tile and then I just finish it from there. So this is where using these little um, letter stamps, it's easy to mess up and get it where you didn't want it at. Because they're so hard to handle. And then when you're getting it in your stamp pad, sometimes it gets some on the edges of it. And then when you mash it down on your project, it picks up that that was on the edge that you didn't want on there. But like I said, that's not a problem. It is a problem if you're stamping on paper or fabric or something because you can't really use alcohol to remove that. But if you're stamping on a hard surface or smooth, non-porous surface, you can easily get it off. However, once it has dried on there and you use it out in your yard, it's very durable. So there's the word kale stamped on there. And 
and for gluing the post on the back of it, I'll show you that in just a minute. I have made um, plant markers and used a wood stick as the stake, but usually they only last one, maybe two seasons, and then the wood rots out because it's stuck down in the ground. So what I really like about these is that they are metal stakes, and so it is not going to rot, of course. And also the glue that I is very strong, and I don't think that it's, they're gonna come loose. So this is showing you the different ones. These are the plants that I have in my garden. And I think they're really pretty. I, I absolutely love that tile there. I love the look of it. I love the coloring in it. I love everything about it. And these were actually um, salvaged from a previous project that someone had. My sister Donna found them at, I don't remember if she said she found them at Goodwill or if someone gave them to her. But she shared some with me and I'm very grateful to her for doing that because I, I love them. So when you do glue the stake on, and that's the stake there, you need to secure it so that it won't wobble around. Like maybe put another tile underneath the other side of it so that that doesn't try to fall loose before it hardens. But if you do that and let it sit overnight, it will be stuck on there probably forever once you've done that. And those stakes right there are stakes for landscaping. They use it to hold the landscape fabric down. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you'll consider making some of your own um, plant markers. I'm just crazy about marking things, uh, labeling things. I label everything I come across. So you may not be as crazy about it as I am, but um, if you've been wanting some, this is a very quick and easy way to do them. I know this is a super quick video, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I am so very thankful to you and may God bless you and your family.